So Cheryl, tell me a little bit about where we are right now. Everything looks like we're going back in time a little bit more than what we've seen so far. Absolutely. So we are in the European and American galleries before 1900. Uh, this is roughly 1700 to 1900. Uh, the galleries are organized thematically, and this suite of galleries is called Time Nature. So uh, it's organized a little bit differently from the way that it was at the Snipe Building. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, you're gonna see a lot of uh, integration of national schools. So there will be British and American and French things along with some Irish things uh, too because we've been building up our Irish collection. So we'll see some of those as we walk <laughs> through the galleries. I mean, not just for Notre Dame, but for me too <laughs> since I'm from Ireland. But uh, all right, well, let's have a look around. Do you have like a particular piece that you love or do you love them all? or? Can we have a look around and see them? Sure. Um, this, w the other way that this gallery is integrated is that we have sculpture and decorative arts and paintings uh, all integrated into the same galleries. Further on, you'll actually see some works on paper. So we will have rotations of prints and drawings as well. So that's another thing uh, to keep in mind too. In this particular gallery, I especially like the Francesco de Mura Bacchus and Ceres painting. Um, some of these things, uh, were on view in this night building. Other things were in the vaults uh, and came out. Some things have been uh, in storage for many, many years. So this is the first time people are, have been seeing them for generations. And then how do you even find this art? I mean, is it just having the network of uh, art galleries or specifically finding this? I mean, you can't just Google it, right? Like you have to actually <laughs> have a bit more knowledge. So how did you, like, are, are there pieces here from all over the well, world? Well, sometimes literally? they find us. Uh, sometimes collectors uh, decide that they want to donate things to us, so they have a collection and they give things to us. Mm -hmm. uh, like the uh, Leakawan that we have right here, this belonged to a collector. Uh, he put it on loan to us for several years and then eventually converted it into a gift. Uh, so that's uh, one way that we build the collection. Uh, another way that we build collections is through purchases and acquisitions, mm -hmm. and so sometimes dealers will come to us. That's certainly the case for the um, uh, Hugh Douglas Hamilton uh, portrait of the Countess of Aldeborough. So a dealer f knew of this painting in a private collection. The private collector wanted to uh, disinvest himself of it, and so they knew that we were you know, interested mm -hmm. in Irish art, and so they contacted us and said, here's this opportunity, so. Absolutely. And where's the Irish stuff? I, I kind of want to see Where some. is the Irish stuff? Well, oh, yeah, well, well, I say that so, <laughs> like, that, that's my common, you know, where's the Irish stuff? So, a couple of things. Uh, this is the Hugh Douglas Hamilton Portraits of the Countess of Aldeborough. Um, that we uh, acquired several years ago and it has been sitting um, in a vault until we, we wanted to unveil it here. Mm -hmm. We wanted this to be its sort of uh, debut. Um, yeah. We also have uh, the James Berry uh, prints. You might remember, or maybe you don't remember, but uh, several years ago, the way that we started our collection of Irish art was with a large acquisition of James Berry prints. Uh, and so this case, and particularly this space up above here, um, is going to rotate with uh, Piranesi and James, Beer uh, James Berry prints. So that's how we started the collection. I always love portraits that you can look into people's eyes. I don't know why. They might be fictional. They might be actually a real person that were painted. And But I, I just, I, I don't know what it is about them. I always look into them. It's, it's almost like when you look into their eyes, they're telling you a story. But maybe that's just a story I'm making up in my head. No, <laughs> no, absolutely. Um, one of the great things about this is uh, that, uh, th about this organization and about the artwork in my collection, is that it's largely narrative. And so there are stories that are mm -hmm. to be told. Uh, whether it's, you know, the Countess of Aldeborough um, or um, the Vigée Le Brun portrait of the Marquise de Pisegur, um, you know, any of these things, they're, they're telling stories about themselves, mm -hmm. uh, how they want to be represented, uh, how they want to be remembered, uh, about their time period, about their values, and I think that those are all really instructive things uh, for us to um, think about as we walk through the galleries. We have a really good, strong collection of decorative arts thanks to the Virginia Martin uh, endowment, and uh, this is a good way to display them. And again, you're seeing 18th century things next to 19th century things. Uh, you're seeing lots of different forms and shapes 
uh, so that it makes it uh, easy to s compare and contrast them. That looks very Irish. There's still some houses that look like that in Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that house yeah. still exists. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've, I've actually looked at it from the outside. We tried to go in, but they uh, were busy that day, so they, they couldn't entertain us. There's a lot of really big paintings here as well. Like there, There's just so much amazing things to look at. So to summarize everything in here for people watching, when they come into, here, into this particular side of the building, what can they truly experience overall? What do you, what do you think they'll leave with? Um, I think a sense of the grandeur uh, of uh, art from this time period. Uh, also, ideas and concepts and um, problems and issues uh, and challenges that still resonate today. Uh, so some of these things are grouped in a way so that we can talk about uh, gender uh, or class uh, associations uh, and, um, you know, how we think about history, how we think about landscape. That's part of the, the time nature mm -hmm. uh, thematic organization of this particular gallery down here. Upstairs it's a little bit different and I can tell you a little bit more about that. But um, down here the theme is time and nature. So thinking about uh, landscapes, uh, the environment, um, people's attitudes towards uh, natural resources. Uh, so those are all things that we we're, we continue to talk about those now, mm -hmm. uh, and some of the the way that we got here today is by looking at how they approached them in the past. All right. Well, thank you so much for showing me around. You're welcome. And I hope everybody comes to see it and gets to enjoy all the work that you put into create it and put it all together. So thank well, you. Well, I'm glad you're here. Thank you. <laughs>